The goal of a mukbang is to eat everything. We're gonna eat is that correct? Yeah. everything on this table. Eat everything on the table. Yeah. Thirty-five dollars closer. Of sushi. Closer. Sashimi. This has got lots of seaweed in it. There's, there's lots of different variations on, on miso soup. That looks good. We are the old geezers. We're the old geezers. We're, yeah. we're starting to hang out with each other, so. Okay. so should see, I dip see, that? Sea snail? Yeah, dip everything. That's the, the default. Very educational here on the uh, Ken Domek Mukbang channel. <laughs> Did you think the fish is part of the meal? Or do you think yeah. it's, just, it's just a decoration? Well, you don't eat the, it, yeah, the head is just decoration, I think. But, but you're, that's the sashimi right on top. Holy. I don't Gotta know love black the presentation, thing is. huh? Oh yeah. That's wow. abalone, isn't it? I don't know. I think it's abalone. Huge. This is like for a party of ten or something. Right. We're debating I, on what yeah, we're gonna do. I wonder if it's served with, you know, like rice and miso soup or Yeah, you don't want all the extras. <laughs> <laughs> It was feeding, it was feeding time. Hey guys, it's Ken and Eric from Eric Surf 6. And we are in Japan and we are gonna do uh, our, my first mukbang with mukbang. all this amazing sushi. This um, is sashimi, Ken. This sa is sashimi, sashimi, right. Which is completely different. Raw fish. It's, I guess sushi is raw fish sushi. on rice. Right, exactly. Right. This, the, the rice is separate. Right. Eat it in a bowl. Okay, so... Uh, I guess we're just going to dig in. There's a few things on here I haven't had. I haven't had abalone, and I haven't had fatty tuna. Oh, you're going to like that. Yeah, I've it's had like this tuna. Steak. All good. This is the steak of the sea. And then this stuff, this is new to me. Yeah, and that's called shirasu. It's a lo shidasu. local local fish from this area. Okay. They're super, super tiny. That's one fish. That is one fish. One fish. And it's very salty, very fishy. Don't we mind if I do. <laughs> we tried it outside earlier. We have some sahi, sahi, how do asahi, you say? asahi, and uh, beer. So we do a cheers. Thing. Yes, is that how we uh, you start off a mukbang? We do a mukbang with a cheers, right. kumpai. Oh. So how many mukbangs have you done? I think I'm up to like eight or nine. Eight or nine, okay. Yeah. I've done a couple myself, maybe two or three, but and uh, check those out on Eric's channel. Oh, cheers! Yeah, thanks. No problem. The goal of a mukbang is to eat everything. We're gonna eat. Is that correct? Yeah. Everything on this table. Eat everything on the table. Yeah. All right. So you pour yourself some shoyu. Okay. I guess we can I wash our hands see for that. this first. Yeah. Do that. This is our like wet napkin for the whole meal. Mm-hmm. So I actually I've done uh, another mukbang with uh, Paul from Critical Eats Japan. Oh. Okay. But it was the conveyor belt. Conveyor belt sushi. A conveyor belt sushi mukbang. This is sashimi. Mukbang. Yeah, I think this this one's better because it's all right in front of you. Yeah, right. They they see what you're gonna get. Yeah, got a nice wet nap. I don't know how the view is of this. Clean your hands. This, Check it out. You're this up platter the is this is thirty five dollars closer. Worth of sushi. Closer. Sashimi. Sashimi. I don't want to spill anything. Yeah, that's true. All right. I've almost done that before. I love all the colors, huh? Okay. And then you want to put some wasabi in the other one. Right. Well, what is your take on the whole adding your wasabi to your Mixing it's, it I like to mix it, but they say that it makes the, the show you dirty. But right. it, it's a personal taste. I don't think there's any um, faux pas. I mean, either there way. might be some faux pas. No, we'll find most out. Most Japanese won't put it in, but but some do. I'm gonna put it in. I, like, I like mixing it because then it's done. Yeah. But, or you can put it on the fish. Sometimes I do both. Put it on the fish as well too. So one of the things I learned from from Paul when you do sushi, he actually grabs the piece of raw fish puts it in, puts it back on the rice, and then picks up the rice, not using the rice as a sponge, oh, okay. which, can you know, make, which can make the rice fall apart. Sure, so yeah, I've, seen that. I've seen that before. That was quick, kind of a cool thing to learn how to do. Yeah. We got some miso soup, rice on the side, and- uh, We do. Yeah, so. So what's, what's our plan of attack here? This is community. This is community. This, this is, is our, our own. own. All right. <laughs> so do we, should we dig out some of the things, or? What, what's this little one for then? Oh, that was for the... You can put extra wasabi in there ah, if you want. Okay, or right. the, uh, the shoga, which is... I forgot what that is in English again. Uh, ginger. Ginger, right. Yeah, so that's for this fish, the ginger. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's want to go from the back I, to the front or front to the back? There's so much Random, stuff. random. I think the, the best one, my favorite one is this one. There's one piece here, the, the, chute, okay. the fatty tuna. These two. And well, let's one. do it. You want to do those? Let's go on. It's like the steak of the sea. Let's get off to a good start. 
Cheers, Eric. Cheers. To you, too. To you, Ken. <laughs> to you. Thank Ken you. Tom thank you for showing me around oh, Japan, sir. Thank you for coming. Mm. Mm. Melts in your mouth, doesn't Heavenly, it? Heavenly, yeah. Oh. Where to next? Where to next? <laughs> I'm going to do a little miso. It's, it's almost beef-like, don't you think? It is. Meaty. Meaty beef-like. Well, well, I'm going to go for some salmon since it's right here. And this, you know, this is all edible, too. This is, um, this is daikon or, you know, large radish. Oh, okay. You can put that. And then shred it? Yeah. <clears throat> I've never actually done what you just did. So you can mix and match. This is seaweed. <laughs> so, mix and match. This is carrot over here. So the garnish. Oh, this is a mint leaf. This is edible. This is the only thing that's not edible. Is it I believe plastic? that's plastic. It's a, a, a decoration. Yeah. This one too, yeah. Everything else is edible. So as I eat the next piece, tell me about your channel, Eric. Oh, yeah. Let, let my subscribers know you don't mind what me, you do. You don't mind me doing a little commercial? No, I'm asking you to. Okay. Well, and that way I can eat more. It's called the Eric Surf 6 channel, and I also do food reviews twice a week. I live in Japan, so most of it's Japanese food, but I also do fast food burger places as well, too. And once a week I do what's called the Eric Challenge Time series. And they're awesome. Where I do, like, tricks and puzzles. Um, I'm a juggler magician by trade, so I like to sort of keep that stuff going. And, um, yeah, so three uploads a week, and uh, have a lot of fun. I'm not a full-timer yet. But uh, he should be a full timer. But well. three times a week is, is is pretty serious. I keep myself busy. Yeah, yeah. I'm keeping my day job though for now. Are you allowed to say what your day job is on? Uh, on I teach, yeah, I teach at a university. Okay. Japanese university. Did different English courses. And yeah, are you allowed to say how long you've been here for? Uh, I've been here 20 years. So yeah, my university job about 10 years, I think. It's and YouTube 10 years as well too. I think we started about the same time. Yeah, 2006. 2006. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that looks good. We are the old geezers. We're the old geezers. We're, yeah. we're starting to hang out with each other, so okay. we let all the young people. You can never go wrong with salmon. No. Yeah. I think the ones to start with, if you haven't had a lot of sashimi or raw fish, are the salmon and the the, uh, the tunas. That's what I started. Just, with. I think everything else is exotic <laughs> to me. And are I, you a fan? A big fan of fish since you're from Canada? Uh yeah, I'm a big fan of sushi and sashimi. Uh, but the first time I ever had yellowtail was here, and it was mm. with Paul, and uh, I was with a bunch of his friends and him having a little late night snack, and they ordered all this stuff, and I was trying all these different things, and uh, whoa, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what was that? Because I I was, I was just eating the fish, mm -hmm. and they said, oh, that's yellowtail. Yellowtail. And, but I don't which think is, there's any yellow. Which is this one, right? I believe that's the yellowtail, and then we have some three over here. Right. right, yeah, these are the same. Right. Yeah, so this this one right here was a teishok or a set menu, and this is just like a platter. Right. So this is a full meal just by itself. So since we're using our chopsticks and stuff, would you use chopsticks to get that out, or would you just reach in with your hand and... Yeah, chopsticks, or either way, because okay. these are dry. It's like fish jerky, right? Yeah. You can do that. I, I notice my I hold my chopsticks quite wide at the end, but uh, I guess as I get maybe better at it, I'll start to hold them closer so you can pick up. Going for a scoop. See how, see how many you can get. That's, that's 237 of them. That's two, uh, you good counting. And this, you can also dip this oh, in look, the, I got if some. you like. That's a yeah, good use of chop. You can dip this in the show you as well, but it's already salty. Nice. Mukbang. 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 Mukbang, mukbang. Are we I, saying it right? I think it is mukbang, because a lot of Koreans uh, make sure that I say it right. But because you've been, you've because been, you've been corrected, I've been corrected by, <laughs> by by many Koreans, and which I thank you very much. So it is mukbang. But a lot of Americans they see it as mukbang, and some people like to call it mukbang. Okay. So every time I say mukbang, people will like get all up. Hmm. It's mukbang. I like mukbang. Mukbang. And if I so I, mukbang, mukbang. Oh, like three or four different ways you could say it. Mm -hmm. I wonder. And I like doing Put it them down below in the comments if you know. If you know, tell us how to say it. <laughs> yeah, put put your voice file 
Uh, there's, there's add, add your voice file to the comments. The, the possible two things I have never, ever had, uh, I believe Al, 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 abalone. abalone, and then this thing over here with the ginger. Right. And I don't, I don't think I've had, I've had fish roll, but I haven't had whatever that is. This is uni sea urchin. That, that's, a, that's a really good one. Yeah. The bright orange one, yeah. You want to cut it in half? Sure. Can you cut it in half that easily? We're not supposed to touch, you're not supposed to pass uh, food with chopsticks. It's okay. considered. Oops. Grab it. I'm just going to grab it with my fingers. Just to, is that half? Oh, it's very, very uh, pliable creamy. or gooey, creamy. Gooey. And should we dip that? Yeah, definitely. I've never had this. this yeah, is sea urchin, you know, the spiky thing. Mm hmm. Whoa. Good? Wow, it's amazing. <laughs> I wouldn't know because I've never had it. It's a bit of an acquired taste. It is. Yeah, it's got this like really strong Maybe. bitter at the back of the it's tongue. Like a, it's like a pudding consistency, but. It's a pudding consistency. It's got this really strong aftertaste. It comes on, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, it's on. It's on. Game yeah, it's it. On. Game on. We did. We might do this later. One of these uh, clam or shells. Yeah, actually, shellfish. this is this is the meat from it right there. But oh. but the full thing when it's not cut, we'll do later. Oh, okay. It's that. It's that. Uh, is it one piece or two? Hopefully, hopefully, one? hopefully two. Yeah, you can do the honors. Really? Yeah, for sure. You sure that's not one right there? Yeah, there is. Was oh, another one? Okay, so so they gave us a little I, piece. So I I don't know what what this is called. It's called sazai in Japanese, but. We don't know what, what would it, it be called? And oh, there's look, there's these inside too. The you gotta get the, the roll. out of there. Yeah, let's not forget that. We won't. So should sea, I dip sea, that? Sea snail. Yeah, dip everything. That's the the default. The default. Sea snail. Mmm. Very chewy. It's like plastic, <laughs> rubber, <laughs> but with a good well fish said. taste. I don't know about the the good fish taste, but. I think that was the mm. soy sauce mm, that I like. That's rank. It is a strong. Oh, it is a strong flavor. And it doesn't. It doesn't break down. It's like it's like chewing an eraser. My turn to pour you. Oh, okay, yeah. Cheers, buddy. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, we did quite <coughs> a bit of exercise today. We walked a total of um, about ten, ten kilometers yeah. today already. Lots so of. yeah. All around this island called Inoshima. Oh, you've been pouring from yours here. Yeah. I'm like, why it's, is mine full? It's community. That's community. Yeah. Uh, did I pour that really badly or what? No. Oh, and, and actually, and, they like a head out right. here in Japan. They I just, prefer it. I just learned that. Yeah. Uh, but you get less beer that way. I've been told that when you get your beer, don't be disappointed in the fact that there's a very that you're large not getting the volume. Yeah. Whereas in in the states, it's got to be way yeah, out there. Yeah. That would be a states pouring. Right. That's a, uh, a Japan. A Japan. Pouring. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Kampai. All right. I think it's yellowtail time. Oh, we already did the yellowtail. We're plowing through this pretty good. We are. Don't forget to eat your, your, your oh, drink, nice. your miso soup, before it gets cold. This is the only hot item on the table. What do you think of miso soup? I love miso soup. You like it? Yeah. I, I had na is... natto for the first time. Oh, boy. Yeah. I saw that video. This has got lots of seaweed in it. There's there's lots of different variations on, on miso soup. You can get virtually anything in, in it. Yeah. Uh, at my house in Canada, they put uh, those very long white mushrooms, very small. Oh, okay. Very long but small. Yeah, mushrooms go good in miso soup. That's lovely. But seaweed, bad. seaweed is some of the healthiest food on the planet. Don't knock it till you try it. Yeah. Most people won't try it. <laughs> They'll never know if it's good or not. Right? So when you eat your rice, would you eat it like like fish, then rice, fish, then rice, or would you eat your rice just throughout the meal? Or? I tend to eat rice just by itself. I'm, right. I'm not very good at mixing, but I, I think a lot of people do. It's like the fish and rice, fish and rice, like that. Or fish on top of the rice. You can put it on top of the rice. Right. That's and very popular in Japan. Yeah. You need to eat it together in one, like sushi. Eat it together in one mouthful. And what veggie is this? Those will be pickled vegetables. So I guess that doesn't answer the question, huh? No. What kind of? I'll tell you in a second. It looks like more like a. I don't know. Green, uh, green onion kind of. Not onion. What's that? 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 What's
I like it. It's not bad. Seaweed. It's very... Uh, and this is seaweed. Everything is seaweed. Everything is seaweed. This is seaweed. I read try, trust me. Oh, okay. The red seaweed. I've never had red seaweed. Mmm, crunchy. Did you know that all varieties of seaweed are edible? I like for certain, like survival skill kind of All varieties, all are so if you're stuck on an island, go out, grab some seaweed, come yeah. in, dry it out. Yep. And you can eat it and survive on exactly. it. Exactly. There's no poisonous or bad varieties that you can't digest. Very nice to know. Very educational here on the uh, Kandamic Mukbang channel. <laughs> Look, he's, he's losing subscribers. <laughs> oh, they'll let you know. As you know. I know. I, they love to say when they unsubscribe. They yes. love to shout that out in the comments. I'm unsubscribing. Yeah. And that's cool. You wait. Dead fish cool. in front of fish. It's, that's cool. I'm unsubscribing. I, I, I know, right? This. <laughs> yeah. We might be committing a crime there. It'd be interesting to know if they actually, this is just decoration fish, and they'll never ever actually oh, kill these. Oh, yeah, I wonder. And so all the fish that they get is always just from a, from a market. From a fish market. Yeah, good point. These are all like pets. Would you guys like to know? Should we find out? We should. Well, I guess as, I, as I we're bad, they eat them. By the time we finish this mukbang, like the thing's empty. You know, <laughs> you're like, you look back, whoa, they're all gone. I think we should do No, it. I'm pretty sure this is on the menu. You think? I, look yeah, at us. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they don't look very happy. You didn't like your look of them. I just kind of feel like they're all staring at us. Okay, back to you guys. <laughs> Sorry, we had a fish moment. A fish moment. <laughs> Do you think we should try the... Uh, that? Yeah, okay, so yeah, I gotta put in the, uh, the shoga. Help me out again. In English, that's called... Uh, ginger. Ginger, yeah. You grab half of that. Uh, okay. Take half of that. Right. All right. So... <clears throat> that's I, always, I always wait to see what he does, because... You just grab I'm hoping it. That he has you just grab it, it, and then I'm just gonna put a little on it. I'm gonna do it like this, just put a, a touch on top, right? Does that work? And then, uh, I forget what kind of fish it is. There's so many things. Oh boy, around. Ginger, that's potent. Yeah. It's this guy. Yeah. It's this guy, right? Look at that, it's this guy right here. We're eating this fella. Which is, uh oh. It's these guys. It is, isn't it? Better not show them. Now, so now they're mad. That is so <laughs> weird. <laughs> what was so weird? I'm like looking at this guy. Oh, looking right. at these guys. We're eating that. I, think I that don't know. It's, it's a little spot. spooky. We'll face them in the right direction. This one is a bit, uh, I don't know, how would you it's describe it? A little creamier. Right? Yeah. It has that creamy it's, as it's, opposed it's to a fi There's a more, it's more fishiness to it. Yeah. Which I think is why you have to put the ginger. Maybe. Right? Trying to kind of offset. Tame it, yeah. Are you gonna do it again? Yeah. How much is here? Sorry guys, don't look. Yeah. Shoot, yeah. I think the ginger's more potent than the wasabi, maybe. I mean, the, what do you think, the potency of it? Yeah. It, li it lingers much longer. <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, you know what? It's not that filling. It looks like a lot of food. It looks like but a lot. But it's really weight-wise. I, I think we're gonna. It's low calorie. I think. There was a tray out there. I'm not sure if they call it a sushi or a sashimi uh, wagon. Wagon. Oh, the wagon. Yeah. So it was like this long, but this wide. It had didn't, tons have, it, of it didn't have a price on it. It didn't have a price on yeah. it. I, but I'm willing to bet that we could have ate that easily. We could have. But, but Eric was like, I don't know. I'm not feel well after that. I think it was a, it was over a hundred dollars. Yeah. But we could have done it. We could have done it. Next, we, next time. We settled. This was a different fish too. And there's only two pieces. Let's try the abalone, shall we? Sure. Abalone, here, we can show them the shell. It's, okay. it's this. You know, abalone is the most beautiful shell, right? 
This is this guy. Look at that color, eh? It's gorgeous. Yeah. And they get big, too. They get, you know, like that. There was another, there's one in the uh, display case. Did you see it? I did see the it. The grotesque one. <laughs> Huge. Yeah. Again, very chewy. Not as chewy as squid. Mm. Again, this has that crazy fish taste, but nice. Hmm. Actually, I, little... I, like, I like it better than the sea snail. It's cleaner. Oh, definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm. The sea snail needs uh, a little more work or something else to help. Something. Oh. Wait, you gonna get those? Um, yes, sir. What are those called? Salmon roll? Yes. Plug those out of there. You want some? Yeah, you put it on the slab. Will they come out? Yeah. They don't na normally belong in there. That was an yeah, yeah, add-on. Right, that was the display. Display stuff. Let's do a little row. Uh, row. Row, row, row your boat. Very salty. Yeah, it doesn't need to show you, that's for yeah. sure. Oh boy, yeah, very salty. That's the saltiest thing on this dish so far. Yeah, agreed. You got some carrot there. Okay. May I have the uh, last fatty yeah. tuna? Yes, you may. Help yourself. Okay. Go for some extra wasabi on that one. Extra? I should go crazy? Yeah, certain certain fish dissolve the wasabi. Go well with wasabi. So that would be the, probably the proper way of doing it. A yep. little less wasabi, no, wasabi on the top. I find when I mix my wasabi with my uh, soy sauce, mm -hmm. I get a nice even coat. Yeah. Whereas when I put a blob of it on the fish and I eat it, you get that one. It, heat, it heats up in a certain area yeah, yeah, right. in your mouth. Yeah. It hits that one taste bud. That's right. Why did you do that? That's that's part of the excitement. I guess so. That fatty stuff is right. This is the bomb, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's the one you want to order. It's just the name. Okay, that make sure makes you, bring, you make sure you bring your wallet because it's the most expensive. Is, is it really? Yeah. I did not know. It's that. one of the most expensive ones. There's. Yeah, fatty tuna. Community beer coming up, sir. Wow. So, Ooh. since I've been to Japan, and before I even came to Japan, uh, Sapporo and uh, Asahi uh, are the two of my favorites. I haven't tried them all, but those are the ones I kind of keep going back to because it's, it's like a nice lager. Right. Well, there's only two more. There's the, there's a Karen... And Santori. There's and those four, are only four, the four major oh, okay. breweries. So I'll have to do that before I go yeah. home. Santori and Karen are what you're missing. You could do all four. That's right. But you know what? The, to me, they taste very similar, all of them. Oh, really? They're pretty similar. Oh, okay. There's a consistency among them. But in those, within those brands, they have like dark beers as well, too. They have lighter beers. And, right. You know, but the standard ones are taste very similar, I think. And the acid maybe, you'd, maybe you'd feel different. I had a different label on it this month because of the... Is it cherry blossoms? Well, it's cherry blossoms. Yeah. yeah, they do. They rotate out in the seasons, different varieties. Mm. Yeah. But it doesn't change... It's the, all part of their marketing. Uh, it doesn't change the flavor of the beer. I don't just, think so. It's, it's just a label. decoration. Yeah. You're learning quick. I am. So what else have you got planned in, in Japan, Ken? You uh, mean another week? I think I might be going to... Hiroshima? Hiroshima. Mm. But I'm not sure if I'm going to take a bullet train to um, the place that starts with the middle. Osaka? Osaka. Osaka's on the way, yeah. Second so, biggest city. Yeah, you should stop do that. in Osaka, just check oh, it definitely. out for a bit and then take a trip. they've got their own food culture in Osaka. Oh, really, eh? Yeah. Way different? Yeah, good street food, like the takoyaki, the, uh, what are they called? The octopus, the octopus balls. balls. The, yeah, those I are did that here. down there. Yeah. And the okonomiyaki, it's like a Japanese pancake. It's really good. Japanese pancake. Oh, that's street. when they put the egg in the middle and then they, yeah, and they, just, they keep pouring stuff on yeah. and they flip it over. And then, so there's a big street culture of food down there. Okay. And you Look forward to that, people. You'll find, yeah. Ho hopefully I get down there. I'm not sure. It's like halfway to Hiroshima. Yeah. We are killing this, man. We are... We're almost done. What's left? Oh, look, we did the squid. We did the squid. After you. All right. It's two pieces. I've really come to like squid. I, I oh. didn't like it at first when I came to Japan. Did you get it? Yeah, got it. It was like your least favorite. It was my least. It took me a while to enjoy it.
if I spill this stuff on my chip, shirt, I'm doing yeah. wrong color. Hmm. Yeah. Eat. Something that splashes. Chew, chew, chew. Chew, but actually creamy at the same time. Mm -hmm. Whereas some of the other ones are like chew, chew, but not creamy. This one is creamy. Yeah. We got some Heinen stuff here. I tried that the other day. Oh. <laughs> it's, oh, like, it's, it's like eating sandpaper that has like a very strong mint, but not mint flavor. Oh, you're going to do it? Tasting sand, did you say sandpaper? It's like sandpaper on the tongue <laughs> with a flavor of mint and something else, like, but it's very strong. Mm. Goes well with the squid. Does it? Yeah. It helped? I'm used to it, I guess. I didn't like it at first, so it was too overpowering. But it's in the mint family. It's a really strong type of mint that lingers on for a while. Mm -hmm. But it's edible. I told Eric we should try and finish it within 30 minutes, and I think we're doing good. Are we doing 25? On? Right there. 25. 26 right now. 26. How many yapping a lot? We caught, probably could have finished it off in about five minutes. Yeah, all right. So what? Five more minutes? Five more minutes. Then we rate it? You don't have to. It's a mukbang. <laughs> we just eat it. We're eating. So te teach me about how the mukbang works as opposed to your other what, videos. What I've learned about mukbang is you eat something that you like. Mm -hmm. Try a couple of new things that you never tried before dur during it. Okay. But the whole idea that. Okay. the whole idea is to share something that you like to me and then come up with some stories. And today my story was Eric and the fact that he lives in Japan. And, uh, I reached out to him before I came out here and said, if you're not busy and you're on a school break right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, perfect timing. He said, let's let's spend a couple days together. So we're today, tomorrow, and Saturday we'll be going to a YouTube gathering. That's right. In if Tokyo. It, if it doesn't rain. If it doesn't rain. Weather's calling for possible rain. But if it does rain, they're still gonna maybe possibly go to a bar or yeah, something. Yeah, they'll do something. Yeah. In Toronto, they uh, gather in this open area in uh, downtown Toronto called Dundas Square. Oh yeah. But if it gets rainy or crappy weather, uh, there used to be a uh, Hard Rock Cafe. Thank you. And uh, they would let us go and use their upper deck because they, oh, really? they never used it. Private party, huh? Or that, it's not they never used it. They rarely used it. And uh, it was like a private party room. Uh -huh. But they would not allow us to go in there. So Hard Rock Cafe. That's off to How you. How many people show up to that? You got a lot of YouTubers in Canada? The last big one we have was like 2010. They have like other ones that are like smaller and sometimes you know about it, sometimes you don't. So 2010 was the last biggest one? Yeah. Like eight years ago? Yeah. <laughs> It was, it was like the biggest one that I've been to. There have been other ones. I just haven't mm -hmm. been to them. So how many people? I, I guess that's what I should have said. A couple hundred? Yeah, at least a couple hundred. Yeah. It was it was enough that um, Hard Rock Cafe didn't mind us using the whole... We had to go upstairs. We couldn't be in their normal room because there was too many of us. I see. But yeah, it was raining and it was really cold and everybody was miserable. Yeah. That's nice of them. We had to go Hard Rock. Yeah. They said, anytime you guys want to come down. So this, did we figure out this is yellowtail? That's yellowtail, yeah. Okay. Uh oh. This one's almost a bit crunchy. Is it? It has good. Gr uh, it has great flavor. Uh, I don't know. It's fishy to me. The fish is uh, fishy to you. I don't like this one. Well, I mean, it tastes fishy. It's, you know, but it's fish. It's got a lingering. <laughs> Sashimi is not supposed to taste fishy. Really? Tell that to the bat stuff. The sea snail? Yeah. Mm. That sea snail is crazy. You like the yellowtail? Mm -hmm. Alright, you can have the last piece. Oh, thank you. And any more yellowtail that's on this table. Okay, we'll try and find some. Oh. This is rough, guys. Beware of the yellowtail. <coughs> I wouldn't say it's the best thing on the thing, but it's good. <laughs> Would not recommend. <laughs> He's making me second guess myself. That's a, that's a zero on the on the Ken Dummick rating scale. Or is it a one? You don't do numbers, right? No, no, that's, no. Uh, that's what I like about your rating scale. Thank I, you. Everything has a meaning without, you know, numbers or stars or what, you know. Oh. Again, I always try to make sure it... Like I was describing to you earlier, when somebody says, oh, where's a good place to eat? 
you're going to tell them the best place. And that's your go out and get an owl place. Sure. If somebody says, I want to go there, you ate there, had a bad experience, you'd be like, eh, that's a would not recommend or an indifferent. So. This One is, more. Oh, wait. This, looks like, this is pickled vegetables. Yeah. Oh, looks okay. like. Let's try that. Pickled veggies. Pickled veggies. Which are served with almost any set menu in Japan. With uh, the, the yellow, yellow ones. More pickled vegetables. Crunchy. This is kind of salty. Mm -hmm. Well, you can you know eat this with you know beer, mm. but it comes as a side dish with almost everything. You know, I'm noticing in the monitor you look much larger than I. Yeah, I'll, but, I'll sit back here. There you go. But we're actually about the same size. <laughs> okay, now I'm the giant. That's right. But we're about the same size. And plus, it's a wide angle end, so anything right. near the edges. If you sat in the middle, then you'd be huge. I am a big guy, like just bone structure wise. We're about the same size. Yeah, I think that's good because I think he's skinny. So, mm. <laughs> ah, whatever. More beer for me then. There you go. Keep loading him up with beers so he keeps talking like that. Looks like we have one more little piece. Oh, look at that. That's uh, we're getting close. We're getting close yeah. to the end. That is that, and there's another little piece of it. So there's this piece, and then there's that piece. Oh, lemon. Ooh, lemon on there. It needs it. Mm. Yeah, the, the lemon, lemon, lemon helps it a lot. Good. That's really nice. I'm going to soak it in lemon next time. There's another one. Better. Would you put lemon on this? Or it doesn't matter. Mm, try it. Okay. That's just this is just the basic tuna magudo. Right. So budget budget tuna. It, oh budget tuna. So yeah, but it's the proper, fatty it's tuna. Proper. Yeah, I mean it comes from expensive. Yeah, exactly. This is maybe a third of the price. Wow. That's right. funny because I thought that was an expensive stuff. No. Okay, let's do it. Lemon. Lemon. <gasps> Bit of wasabi on top. Oh. I gotta do what you we're getting, do. We're getting down to the end here. Let's, let's grab some of this. Let's, let's get dramatic. Dramatic. Here. Who's the bigger man? <laughs> Who's the bigger man? Ken. Look at you. Oh, put more. I did. <laughs> yep. The lemon helps a lot. Hmm. Really nice. Hmm. I agree. Hmm. But you know, lemon doesn't often come with sashimi. But, yeah. I got a seed. Did you get a seed? <laughs> I didn't see it earlier. No extra charge. Mm -hmm. A few of these guys left still. And just use your, this is finger food as far as I'm concerned. And I think, did we touch this at all? I don't think we did. No. You can have the big piece. All right. Not sure, this is the mystery fish. Mystery fish. Looks kind of meaty. It's, uh, it's this guy. He's getting upset. <laughs> yeah, it's meaty. Is it meaty? No, oh, saba. Saba is what this saba. is. Saba. Saba. I forget what that is in English. No, you, you know what it is. No, it tastes like it tastes like herring. Herring. It does. So it's got that vinegar. Mm. Yo, Google. What is saba in English? Ah, Saba is banana. Say Saba. Saba is banana. Let's fail. What is Saba fish in English? Here we go. It's mackerel. Oh, okay. So mackerel and mackerel. herring are, are These guys. somewhat similar. Mackerel. Yeah. Cool. Well, sir, I think we uh, nailed it. Did we do it? We did it all. Are we is that, is this a, video coming to an end? It is coming to an end. Oh. We drank two beers, two platters. Man, I'm going to miss your audience, man. Oh, I love the Ken Dummick audience. You guys are awesome. Even the haters. Well, hopefully, I mean, you guys are a great bunch hopefully of Hopefully they all come over to your channel and check you out. Yeah. And then they can give you some of the, uh, my love to you. That'd be that'd be great. Or hate as well, too. You know, I, I welcome everybody he equally. He accepts anything. Well. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for stopping by. I'd like to thank Eric from Eric Surf 6 for coming and, and uh, meeting up with me today, tomorrow, and hopefully Saturday. 
uh, at the YouTube meeting and uh, or gathering, I guess is a better way of saying We're going to do it. So thanks for stopping by this uh, mukbang, and we will talk to you again hopefully next Monday. I'm not sure when I'm, this is going up. I usually do the mukbang Mondays, but we, we knocked it out of the park. We did. It's done. I would say go out and get it now. Excellent. If you were wondering. Thanks, Eric. You're welcome, Ken. See you later, guys.